Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Bombs Odd Jobs, where we like to save money, save energy, and fix the things we have. Today is part two of my loft beds. I'm showing you how I built the stairs. Unfortunately, some of the videos I took when I was putting these together didn't turn out so well, but I'm still going to give you a good idea on how to build them, and I'm going to post the design that I drew for these stairs. I found a picture of these online and I looked at them. They don't look they didn't look that difficult to build and to be honest, they're not. I used 2x12s, screws, glue, I sanded it and painted it, and that's it. I got some stairs. So why don't we head outside and I'll show you where I started. Okay, so these are my plans for the custom stairs going up to the bunk bed. Um, you can see they're going to be shelves and stairs in one. And just like everything else, cut all my pieces ahead of time, measure, sand, and then I'm going to put it together piece by piece. So I'm just sanding, lightly sanding all the corners on the front edges of, the, of my stairs, just so the kids don't get any splinters. I'll work through each one. I'm still cutting too. I just thought I'd give that little detail. All right, so I've got all of my pieces cut. Um, you can see I've just organized them here from biggest to smallest, and I've also done some light sanding on all the areas, especially where there's where they're going to be walking on stairs. I just focused a little more on there, but all the pieces need a light sanding just to get the the chips off and splinters out. Okay, now I'm going to put this thing together. So here are my stair shelves. Um, you can see it's a little wobbly because it's kind of narrow, but I'm actually going to attach it to the bed and to the uh, support. That will also give strength to my support for my bunk bed and make it so they're not as wobbly. Just wanted to give you a little closer overview. When I started building these stairs, I had them down on the floor and I started from the top and I worked my way down and I built them. Every joint here, it has screws and glue. And here, glue, and all these are glued uh, with screws. And that way it, ha it won't squeak, it has good support, and even I can walk up and down them. I can jump, there's no movement, the kids are able to do, to jump up and down. And look at all this shelf space I have. I've opened up this, this um, sort of space that might not have been used before but now we have all these areas the kids can store their stuff i've got all this space under my loft beds on this for my son's side i've got his chair on my daughter's side there's a there's a a little couch we put under there they've got space up top they've got space underneath build a desk they can put things on their shelves and that's it so thanks for watching another edition of bob's odd jobs if you like this video please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care mm -hmm.